Hello and welcome back to Lancer Sports Center. I'm Jacob Gorn. I'm not joined by Ryan Lowey today, and that's because I'm joined by Austin Vecchio. Austin, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I am doing fantastic. I think we should get right into the questions. And uh, first up, I want to talk about, I'm going to take a little rewind to last year. You went all the way to the finals. So after that, what are your team's expectations coming into this year? Uh, obviously, that was a bit of a heartbreak, getting to finals, getting through everything with uh, the whole entire team. Uh, and obviously, we want to not let that happen again. We got unfinished business to take care of this year. So we're going to make sure we get back to that point and make sure we finish this time. Yeah, it definitely makes sense. And uh, do you have any personal expectations for yourself coming into the year? Um, as a senior, I want to come in as a as a leader along with some other seniors, uh, Zach Turman to mention, Danny Grossbard, Spencer Solomon, Jay Stocks, all the, Andrew Kwan, everybody, we, we all want to come together and make sure that we are uh, the people to look up to on the team that are like the role models to the underclassmen and everybody. Yeah, you talked about yourself being a leader. You wore an, an A on your jersey for alternate captaincy last year. Um, Michael Mom graduated, so uh, with you possibly being the next captain, uh, how are you going to handle that responsibility? Um, the same stuff that Michael did and I did last year. Uh, make sure everybody's focused and ready for game days, focused and ready for practices, uh, get some team bonding dinners together, and just create a family again. And I obviously just mentioned, Mom, um, how do you replace a, a player like that in your lineup? It's difficult. Um, he was a very strong attacking player on the team, and he always brought the team together in some sort of way. And it's going to be tough to replace him, um, but if we all work together, I think it'll be an easy task. Um, so uh, last season, this is a little bit more of a, a fun question. I've asked you more serious ones uh, the past few, few questions. You had 10 goals last year. How many are you aiming for this year? Um, I don't really want to put it in a number sense, but I definitely want to do my best to, to put at least a point or two up on the board every game if I can. Um, I just want to do whatever's best for the team, and I want to see us do well in the end. So. And uh, did you also know you have an, an elite prospect page? I did, yeah. I do have that. Yeah, I, I looked it up to see how many goals he had last year, and I saw it. I was like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cool. They put that in after every game, I'm pretty sure. So. And uh, so we've talked about some of the older players on the team. Which underclassmen do you think we're going to see a lot more of this year? Um, a couple kids that come to mind, probably Ryan Zales. He's been a stud last year. He was a freshman. He started and he did very well. Uh, Zach Silva, he held his own last year as a freshman as well. And uh, I'd say Igor, uh, he, he's, he's a freshman coming in this year and he's, he's got a lot of talent that I'm really ready to see. So I'm excited for that. And uh, last but not least, how much does it mean for you and your teammates to have students allowed back at, at Cody Arena for your games this year? It's going to be exciting. Uh, it's been a while since we've got to experience that, and we, we really need all the, all the students we can. I mean, everybody who was here the past few years, they, they know that we've been, we've been progressing as much as we can. And to have that representation of a high school behind your back, you know that it's just an important thing for you, I guess. So it's going to yeah. be fun. It's going to be an exciting year for Livingston Ice Hockey. You can watch their home games at Cody Arena. There's going to be a few on Livingston Television. And that's all for Lancaster Sports Center today. Back to the host.